jeopardizes our own security here. Well, certainly it frightens people in Afghanistan. My young friend, Raz Mohammed, just said, drones bury beautiful lives. He knows because his brother-in-law was killed by a drone. Greetings, uh, as Susan did also, from activists uh, in the western part of the country. Um, back uh, in 2009, the Creech 14, uh, I think, were the first arrests against armed drones. Uh, Creech Air Force Base is the headquarters of the 432nd Air Wing, uh, which oversees all the armed predators and reapers. And um, that base has grown immensely. It's about 50 miles from Las Vegas. Uh, it's a little remote and it's hard for a sustained campaign uh, there, but those arrests, uh, Kathy was one of them, really I think helped build more of the groundswell that we're still building now uh, uh, at more places. The main reason that we're here is to try to have Iowa not be a piloting source for Reaper drones. As, as, as of this point, uh, the, the, the command structure of the 132nd has said, no, we will not be ready to be operational to um, pilot uh, Reaper drones until 2015 or 2016. Uh, there's been uh, some variance in that. Uh, so, if you, if you look at it from that point of view, what we're doing today is not a uh, last gasp of defeat, but uh, is a part of a continuing effort. And uh, this isn't done until it's done. I don't know how we stop this here in Des Moines or in the country, um, but we have to use our creative minds to think how we do it. We have to talk to our friends and our enemies and try to convince them of the insanity of it and keep on and keep on working. So it's a privilege to be here. Thanks very much.